Welcome to K21 Academy. Today our expert instructors will be discussing about data governments a critical aspect in today's digital landscape. As data volumes skyrocket and new sources emerge, the challenge of maintaining effective data governments has never been more daunting. From understanding the types of data utilized by your organization to grappling with the complexities of multi-cloud environment, there is a lot to unpack. Expert will be discussing revolutionary Microsoft Purview, a unified data government service designed to streamline management across on-premise, multi-cloud, and SaaS data. In this video, we will cover the essential component of Microsoft Purview, including its data map and data catalog feature. How Purview empowers users to discover, classify, and manage data across diverse sources. The significance of data states into insights in maintaining data quality and compliance. Real-world example showcasing the power of Microsoft Purview in action. So, if you are ready to grow your data governance, you are in the right place. Bonus to help you to land high-paying job. Stay tuned till the end of the video for the free class. More insight tips, tutorials on data governance and cloud technologies. Let's get started. First of all, you all need to understand one thing. right and that's that's a very important factor that as the volume or uh, volume and variety of data increases the challenges of good data governance are likely to become more difficult because we have digital transformation technologies that have resulted in new data sources so how do users know what data is available how do administrator manage data when they want to or they might not know what type of data exist and where it is stored or does the data contain sensitive or personal information all these questions that i am talking about they are not easy to answer without getting the insights into the data and the source of storage so before uh, like first of all we need to understand that what type of data is generally be used by the or what uh, governance data that is used by your uh, resources or or you can say like if i talk about uh capturing this data with your resources there so what you can find out here is that what is your data is all about look at this particular part right now if i will take you through it right what you can find out here is that what is your data here what is your data here right so just understand as a user or producer of data you might be a business or technical data analyst or maybe a data scientist or a data engineer you probably spend significant time you probably spend a significant time on manual process to annotate catalog and find trusted data sources now without a centralized location or you can say without a central location to register data sources you might be unaware of data sources unless you come into contact with it as a part of another process as well so as you can see where is your data it's moving to multiple clouds from different cloud vendors with different security paradigms like 81% of this multiple public clouds are there one or more private dedicated clouds are there public cloud is what the which is globally accessed by anybody means who anyone can access it while the private cloud is private cloud is completely focusing on that if it is within the organization only right and only the uh, part only the people within the same organization will be able to get access to that particular resource is there so if you can go with the, all these particular options right now you can find out like we do have uh, it's 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 not about storing the data it's just flowing everywhere as you can see we do have on premises here the data is there it can either go via cloud to cloud implementation or it can go with your on premises to cloud implementation as well cloud to <laughs> saas clouds as well on prem to saas cloud as well means your data is not staying on one single place right now your data is keep moving they keep moving and keep dancing you can say throughout the time whenever you are going to get the access to this particular resources as well right and that's that's basically the very important factor that we always need to be focus on when we are going to work with these resources that i am talking about so within this uh, like purview approach or or because like writing metadata description for data sources is often you can consider a wasted effort client application typically ignore descriptions that are stored in the data sources creating documentation for data sources is difficult because we need to keep documentation in sync with data sources 
Now, without the ability to track the data from end to end, you must spend time tracing problems created by data pipelines that other teams own. And if you make changes to it, you accidentally affect related reports or business mission. So what is this Microsoft purview is all about? What is the concept behind your uh, Microsoft purview or what is a Microsoft purview is all about? But before uh, understanding this Microsoft purview, look at this, the concept of your data governance. We call them the concept of your data governance. As you can see right now, Microsoft purview is designed to address these issues like the one that I have discussed with you so far and help enterprise to get the most value from their existing information asset. Now it's catalog makes data sources easy to discover and understand by the users who manage the data. As you can see right now, if I have a CEO or CDO, CDO is there, right? It can go with your discovery part. Like what data do I have? Where did the data originate? Can I trust it or not? Because it needs to make sure that it should be properly checked whenever you are going to work with your or going to use your data you need to make sure that your data must be not only a quantitative data it should always be a qualitative data as well so it is both quantitative and qualitative data it is both quantitative and qualitative data like that that is what we will be using there whenever we are going to uh, like work with this particular resource right now so now we need to maintain the quality. So this is the discovery part. Then we also need to focus on your compliance part where what's my exposure to risk? Is my usage compliant? How do I control access and use? What is required by regulations and everything, right? So these all are the compliance mechanisms like that we will be focusing on. So what, what will we be doing? So this high level overview preview helps you to discover the key aspects that make it a tool of choice for mapping your enterprise. So here the topic is all about what do you mean by Microsoft purview or how can we, uh, or what, what we can say about this Microsoft purview. So if I say the word Microsoft purview, Microsoft purview is a unified data governance service that helps you to manage and govern your on-premises, multi-cloud and SaaS data. You can easily create a broad, up-to-date map of your data landscape with automated data discovery, sensitive data classification, end-to-end -end data lineage as well. And you can also empower data users to find valuables and trustworthy data. So now if you can see right now, just right here within this purview, we do have on-premises data. We have data from the cloud. We have data from the SaaS applications as well. Right. And we have some data available from maybe Microsoft 365 or something. They are generally available or then they, they, they may have the preview versions available in that. This is basically what we can call the governance portal, right? This is what we call the governance portal. So Microsoft purview is designed to help enterprise get the most value from their existing information asset. And with this cloud-based service, we can register our data sources to help us to discover and manage them. And our data sources remain in place, but a copy of the metadata for the source is added to your Microsoft purview. So Microsoft purview, Microsoft purview, or you can register a wide range of sources in Azure and across your multi-cloud data state in Microsoft purview. So this includes your ADLS, AW, uh, AWS, Azure SQL database on premises. And there are many other options which are initially be there. Now, when you are going to work with your Microsoft purview, a Microsoft purview generally consists of three most important uh, elements, or you can say the main elements that we have. The first one, we call them this data map. The first one, we call it as a data map. Now, what is this data map is all about? The data map provides a structure for your data state in Microsoft purview, where you can map your existing data stores into groups and hierarchies. Now in the data map, you can grant users and teams access to these groups so that they have access to find relevant data stores. And the data map can then scan your data store and gather metadata like schemas and then data types. And it can also identify sensitive data types so that you can keep track of them in your data state as well. 
So now <clears throat> at this point, what you can find out here is that I do have this data map, which is the first member of this family. The data map provides you the structure for your data state uh, in Microsoft Purview, where you can map your existing data stores, right? Where you can map your existing data stores into groups and hierarchies. And here you can grant users and teams uh, to access to these groups so that they have access to find relevant data stores. So the data map can then scan your data stores and gather metadata such as schemas and then data types. And it can also identify the sensitive data types so that you can keep track of them as well. Uh, actually, when you are going to work with your data map initially, a data map generally look something like this. This is the data map view, as you can see right now, where I have, this is the purview portal, right? We call them this. This is the name of your purview, right? And then here you can see contours of purview. Then these all are my different type of data sources, as you can see right now. These are some sort of other operations, which is like collections, you can say, which we will be using there. This is how it's going to look like when you will go with your data map source dot or data map source. Then we also have the concept of your, we also have the concept of your uh, data catalog. We also use the data catalog as well. Microsoft Purview data catalog, which is just another member of this family. We call them the data catalog. So initially this data catalog allows your users to browse the metadata which are stored in the data map so that they can find reliable data and understand its context as well. Like for example, say if we have users, users can see where the data comes from and who are experts, they can contact about the data source as well. So the data uh, catalog also integrates with other Azure products like the Synapse Analytics workspace so that users can search for the data they need from the applications they need it accordingly. Then it also gives you the opportunity to share your data. You can share your data between the organizations as well. Like if you want to share your data, you can share your data between the organizations within the within and between the organizations as well. This is just an another uh, factor you can find out in context of your producers and schema, uh, like producers and other options, which is there. Then another important factor you can find out or another important feature we have we call them the data state insights. Data state insights, it's, it's a very important terminology. The reason for that, because when I say data insights, insights offer a high level view into your data catalog. And it covers something like data stewardship or maybe the catalog adaption or maybe the asset insights or scan insight, glossaries are there, classifications are there. Uh, sensitivity, if you want to apply some sensitivity labels or anything to that, they all are initially be taken care by your, they all are initially be taken care by your this insight to get the health of that resources. And then we can create our own custom data policies so that we will be able to govern access to the data. And these all are my different type of resources you can simply find out, which are initially be using Microsoft Purview very thoroughly uh, for your governance part or for the governance implementation. That's basically the very simple and the quick approach we have when we are going to focus on this particular operations there. Hey there, if you're enjoying this video and would like to go deeper and become an expert and master on data engineering on Microsoft Azure Cloud in order to get a high paying job, then I would like to invite you for a free class that, that I'm doing where I'm bringing a Microsoft certified trainer and a data expert. We'll be talking everything about Microsoft Azure Cloud how to learn in this in depth, including everything related to both certification as well as in order to get a high paying job. We'll be talking about 12 week roadmap and all the hands on laps you should be performing. So if you're interested, check out on ketonacademy.com forward slash Azure data 02.